What's up, y'all? It's your boy Shaga Williams, also known as Shock G. We're here on World West Media, and this is a little bit about me. <laughs> we back here on a section that plays it all. You know what time it is? It's time to turn it up. Sitting here with another one with your boy Shock G. It's time to turn it up, y'all. I was just a little nigga on the block, I'm telling. And when you run into a cop, what the fuck you gonna tell him? We got a story in the hood where you don't say shit. And if the cops know anything, then you don't. Squat, squat, squat. I'm on the house in the mountains with a white picket fence and a six tray pile. With a bunch of bad bitches all inside, though I'm Giannis I'm a king, I'm a boss, the boss means that I'm a Don, nigga Oh, life's been crazy I've seen up and downs and a lot of closed doors Oh, I just can't take it no more I got to get my face off this floor And so I start my search for happiness Last night, it must have been a joy The liquor bottles tell the story so This one's for the boys We living it up Ain't nothing gonna happen that you don't wanna have turning it up What do I do? Shit, what don't I do? Hell, uh, I sing, I rap I engineer, I um, mix, I master uh, I produce Um I pretty much do all sides of music, and then now I've, uh, I've jumped into the director seat now. What's the favorite out of all that I do? I would say that's kind of a hard one. Uh, I would say singing and making beats, because I love making beats, but I love singing. I love to come up with different melodies and singing. That's my thing, is melodies. Um, but then I got to the visuals now, so doing directing and getting to the, the videos. I'm... Um, I'm loving that side too, but if I had to just give it to one and then sing, making beats is like I'm singing through my fingers now. You know, I was always a, um, an artist first, and then I got into to production, and um, and I love production. But I would have to say if I had to choose one, I would say singing is the favorite out of everything I do. Mm, what I'm currently working on, I'm working on like a bunch of uh, right now, and I've been working on lots and lots and lots of singles. I, I have tons and tons of archives of songs. So basically, I've just been doing singles after singles. That's all people went to right now, singles anyway. So I've been getting them singles, but the whole time I've been working on a, one big album that I've been making, it's called I Am The Band. Uh, by me, Shaka Williams, I Am The Band. So I'm still working on that one though. It's just all of my travels that I've been making. Um, I've been collecting more and more and more music, so I'm like putting, there's no rush to me right now. So at the meantime, I've just been putting on singles and singles and everything, singles and videos and covers to every song. Who have I worked with? Uh, I'll start from the beginning, uh, starting back from, I used to live out in San Diego, I'm from Long Beach, and um, I used to live out in San Diego, and um, uh, I, you know, I used to mess with a lot of little underground artists and everything like that, you know, pretty much maturing myself in the game. Let's say the first artist I'll say that I got on with probably was Jay O'Fallon, who was doing a crip hop album, doing a Dulo Gang, and, um, and uh, so that was probably like what I, really got my feet wet a little bit and then outside of that I'm from Long Beach so you know I wanted to come back home and you know I'm watching Snoop Dogg blow up just like everybody else and that's like my first that's like my longest living friend to the day and um one of my first not one of my first my first music partner and I'm his first music partner you know what it is to take Snoop Dogg right this nigga right here and this nigga go back to when Jaws was a motherfucking goldfish you understand me what I'm talking about like when he's like 1970 79 80 81 we used to do music before it made sense though so before y'all knew him everything and um we was little kids <laughs> Um, so I wanted to come back home and touch, touch back bases with everybody. So I came back home, came back to Long Beach, and uh, I got it in. When I say I got it in, it wasn't nobody I wasn't working with at that point. Um, so I went through all like the East Siders, uh, Snoop Dogs, everybody. I came back home and got it in. There's every every name in Long Beach I can say. The twins, whoever else you can think of. Um, then other than that, you know, Master P, Method Man. Um, 
it's so many different names out there. You know, there's a lot of different music. I look, y'all can go out there and Google me. Just Google it from there because I'm not into bragging on myself. But I've got my works, my share of works. My favorite artist to work with that's a tough one um i'm gonna have to say my nigga goatee low goatee low is my favorite one to ever work with i say out all the times that you know i used to do a lot of work different places different cities different states wherever but i know when i rush back and get to long beach it could be five four or three whatever in the morning i, I just know as soon as ever i hit the city i'll hit my nigga goatee low could be five four threes whatever in the morning as soon as i call him he's like you got the equipment with you cuz i'll be like hell yeah he's like come on let's slump yeah, before we went to the big studio, we mostly made a lot of them songs at the house, though. We was just sitting there just barbecuing, slumping out every night. The neighbors didn't even call the police. They was just used to the shit. Like, we in, like, a condo, like, apartments, like, a big-ass condo and shit. But we, every single day, we partying our asses off in the middle of a party. We got the microphone there with the gate on, super tight, so it don't pick up the rest of the party. But we partying around all them goddamn songs. Let me see you put a cloud in the sky on a bright, sunny day. I know you used to do it. I don't know if you did that. Yeah, I, I, I know you used to do it when you wanted to do it. You know what I mean? I'm glad y'all hearing this heat. And this heat and weight they're putting on me. This, they want me to yeah. produce 10 kilos. Hey, don't cut look like a piece of shit in a t-shirt. Hey. Oh, shit. Yeah, that nigga gold chain, cuz. Called him a nigga. Like, Trady has stopped through, you know, Sugar Free, Battle Cut. Everybody used to just come through. And, man, we just slump up on that motherfucker, though. Boom, boom, boom. You ain't boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom, My influence coming up, I would have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm an old school nigga, so I'd probably say Motown, you know what I mean? Smokey Robinson's, the Marvin Gaye's. I remember when Marvin Gaye died, he was going to school that day, we couldn't even move the car, that we was just shocked over what just came over the radio. Marvin just died, that was devastating. And um, so those times right there, my favorite of all time is probably Stevie Wonder. Um, I love Stevie, you know what I mean? So like, that's where my melodies and shit, I would say where I probably get most of my shit from. So listen to that man growing up. So pretty much I'm old school. I would say Motown, shit like that. I grew up in the first days when hip hop was created. The very first day of hip hop I was here, I even had my rap name, TMC, Terminate Mic Controller. So yeah, I was a rapper too. But if you want, back in them days, I was pretty much listening to the OJs and the Winans and different groups like that. You know what I mean? I was, I liked the music. You know what I mean? My brother being in the next room banging out all kind of hardcore rap and shit, run DMC, nigga, and you know. The Beastie Boys and you know shits like that and me I'm up in that motherfucker listening to some gospel <laughs> and uh so yeah I grew up on the old schools man I, definitely like I said my influence probably was Stevie Wonder and people like that Marvin Gaye mm, I ain't gonna say no names as far as somebody being worst artist cause that's kinda mean so what I am gonna say is I hate the type of people that ask me for studio time and wanna say uh Hey, Shaq G, how much can I get one hour for? I'm like, you dumb motherfucker. So I charge the motherfuckers high as hell if they ask me for one hour because I call it the fuck off hour. Because the nigga think he gonna get rich. We gonna make a million dollars. We gonna do this. We gonna blow up off of one hour. He ain't gonna do nothing. No rich. No, no, nothing gonna happen off of no goddamn one hour. So anyway, that's the people that I hate. I hate those type of people. I ain't gonna say one particular artist, but those type of artists. Um, yeah, I don't really know Nipsey's music like that. I wasn't no fanatic fan or nothing like that. You know, I knew of some songs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, met him a couple of times, you know. But, um, yeah, when I was with there at the funeral, right there with the family and everything, and I'm filming everything, and uh, I'm sitting there just tripping off all these damn people, like, damn. That's when you really got to know the power of somebody, and then watching on the news, uh, different states and so on, so giving it up. Neighborhood Nip, and they out the neighborhood. I'm like, damn. That's an impact right there. This man definitely made an impact. So, um, yeah, Nipsey Hussle, man, I, that was definitely a, a tragedy, definitely a devastation to hip hop, to black people, to um, 
entrepreneurs to, you know, people with a dream, you know, you know, yeah, devastation. Shit, you can find my music pretty much anywhere music is sold, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, uh, um, what's the other one's called, Spotify, um, Google Play, Pandora, pretty much everywhere music is sold, you can find my music. Other than that, I got tons and tons, I told you I'm a videographer, a director, so I got tons and tons of videos on YouTube, so go check me out on YouTube, just type up Shaga Williams, C-H-A-G-O, C-H-A-G-O, and Williams. I mean, you can find me on Facebook, Facebook, the same name, Shaga Williams, C-H-A-G-O, Williams, and uh, Instagram, Shaga Williams, uh, Shago underscore Williams, and, um, Uh, where's my most supported supporters at? I would say, um, I would have to say in Europe. Um, that's my number one. After me checking my analytics and different things through, like, as me checking my analytics on different places I submitted my music, like on, uh, like on my distribution and, um, even on YouTube, you know, checking your analytics, you get to see where people, who your supporters and where they come from. So out of me checking that, I got to see that, um, you know, it was pretty much like, uh, France first. Then we got to um, Australia, then Germany and Japan. That's pretty much like in the line of it, and it goes like that. So, um, you know, in California, it trickles in, but really it's, it's more the other places. And then I live in, in, I live in uh, Europe now, too. I've moved to France. So I, me living in Long Beach and France, it's like uh, I really get to see the love that they got for us. And, man, they, it's, it's genuine, and it's, they keep us alive, to tell you the truth, though. I feel like I'm the biggest star in the world when I'm over here. So I would have to say you're a no love lost West.